There's nothing else we can do. Okay? We just gotta get out of the way. No, we can't get out of the way, Dean. Not this time. I don't care if Billy gets what she wants. I don't, man. I trade it all. I trade them all for Chuck in a heartbeat. What about me? Would you trade me? Balance. Yes. Think of it. Us. Starting fresh. Creating something new. Something beautiful. Peaceful. Together. And we can finally forget about all this pain. No baggage. Only balance. Chuck has to die. He has to. Otherwise, he'll keep us tap dancing forever. And I can't live like that, man. I can't live like that. I won't. I know you feel like that right now, OK? I know you do. But you got to trust me. My entire life, you've protected me from dad, from Lucifer. From everything. I didn't always like it, you know. But it's the one thing in the whole world that I can always count on. It's the only thing I've ever known that was true. So please put the gun away. Put it away. We'll figure it out. Dean, we'll find another way, you and me. We always do. Are you kidding me? After everything, all that, you, you did it again. Where's Amara? Amara, Amara, she's in here somewhere. What, you consumed your sister? We came to an understanding. So spare me your contempt, Castiel, the self-hating angel of Thursday. You know what every other version of you did after gripping him tight and raising him from perdition? They did what they were told, but not you. Not the one off the line with a crack in his chassis. All of you. <laughs> I tried, and I tried, and I tried, but you're all just too stupid, too stubborn, too broken. You know what? I'm over it. I'm over you. Yeah, good. Screw you. Chuck. No. Screw you. You know what you do with broken toys. You throw them out. So, kill each other, don't kill each other. I don't care. What do you mean? I mean, have fun watching him die. <laughs> Jack. <laughs> Help me! Jack! 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 Hey! Jack! Hey guys, welcome to a new video. What a crazy big mythology episode we got tonight. They saved everything throughout the season and they're throwing it all out in the final couple of episodes. We got a lot of crazy revelations and confrontations tonight. Amara versus God, the boys versus God. Amara finds out the boys are tricking her. We're gonna talk 
more details about the ending of the episode, poor Jack getting killed by God again, just like happened at the end of season 14, just to torture the boys emotionally, but Chuck refuses to kill them once again. He's making the biggest mistake all the villains throughout history have made. Talk too much, don't kill the heroes. The boys still have plot armor, does not make sense to me that after he got sick of his plan having the boys kill each other, he gave up. I thought, okay, who's gonna save the boys this time? No one pops up, Amara is consumed by God, another crazy thing that happened in that very ending, you can see this evil as hell smile from God while he has Amara inside of him, you see the darkness and the light in his eyes. Clearly, he emotionally manipulated her to consume her power and become even more powerful. Sadly, Amara was too vulnerable when she found out Dean was tricking her. God was manipulating things. He implied that he pushed death to like act in an evil way or whatever, but I think Billy just wants to take control anyway. He didn't specify what he did, but he still cannot read his book, Chuck's Book of Death, but he manipulated a few things to push the boys to the edge and essentially he wanted them to still kill each other but of course he didn't do that because he never followed what Chuck wants. You know, they use their love for each other, Sam reminded Dean he's been protecting him and saving him all his life, he wants to trust him and listen to him this time. So he convinced Dean to stop being crazy because Dean, Dean's rage almost ruined everything. Jack has this fuse, this you know, cosmic supernova thing that Adam gave him, Adam's rib was a final ritual. So it's gonna go off at any moment, you can't stop it. So Chuck apparently accelerated the way Jack will die, I don't know what he did at the end, but he decided to kill him slowly instead of one shot like he did at the end of season 14. I've been calling all of this in a while, this whole plan's not gonna work, Jack is not strong enough to beat God, Billy has been acting shady, she has other shady motives, she wants to become God. The Empty reveals that to Sam, who coincidentally goes into Death's library while the Empty is looking for her, so a lot of conv plot conveniences obviously in this episode, but yeah, the boys face Chuck at the end, he still doesn't kill him, but he kills Jack slowly. Poor Jack just keeps getting screwed in those final few episodes of every season. Last season, God killed him in front of the boys. This season, it's not even a finale yet, but he's doing the same thing, a slow death this time. And we know from all the news that next episode will be even crazier. Potentially that is the last we'll ever see of Castell. He's gonna make a big sacrifice, the empty deal might come into it. Castell will die next episode apparently. So yeah, we'll see what's gonna happen with that. What is Castell's role next episode? Where is he gonna be fighting Billy this time, as we've seen in the promo? We'll see what's gonna happen. How are he gonna stop Chuck now that he has the power of darkness and light in him? And clearly Amara has no control over it unless she regains control. It's kind of like, it's almost like Amara is possessing Chuck but he's controlling her. It's like a cosmic level possession. So yeah, crazy stuff all over but that's just the ending we're talking about. We'll talk about the other stuff later but yeah, uh, I don't know, even know what to think of all of it. It's all too much at the moment but, but I just covered the ending bit in this episode but there's a lot more to talk about. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Subscribe for more awesome Smasher content. Till next time as always, no chick flick moments.